Learning Zone. I'm Mr. B. In this video, I'll explain how to use the quadratic formula to determine the pH of a 0.036 molar solution of hydrofluoric acid. This is actually the second of a two-part series explaining how to determine the pH of a weak acid solution. In part one, I determined the pH of a 0.036 molar solution of hydrofluoric acid using a standard calculation, where the first step was to write the equilibrium equation. And from the equilibrium equation, I wrote a Ka expression. I then went on to explain how to use an ice table, where from the information in the ice table, at equilibrium, the concentration of hydrofluoric acid was found to be 0.036 minus x and the concentrations of both H plus and F minors was determined to be x. Since this is a weak acid and the Ka value is so small, I also made the assumption that x was negligible. In putting the information into the Ka expression with x being negligible as part of the concentration of the acid at equilibrium, I generate the following, where the Ka value is equal to the concentration of H plus times F minus divided by the concentration of the acid excluding the X, which was 0.036. And solve it for X generates a value of 4.0 times 10 to the minus 3, which represents the molarity of the hydrogen ion and the pH of the solution will be 2.37. Now check for accuracy, where if it was valid to consider X negligible, then the percent ionization of the acid will not exceed 5%. In this case, the percent ionization was actually 11%, which is far above the accepted range. This means that we must now go back to the calculation from the Ka expression and this time inserting x into the denominator where in the denominator we will now write 0.036 minus x. This will lead to a quadratic equation. Now let's observe how to calculate the pH of a weak acid using the quadratic equation and the quadratic formula. Now return to the Ka expression, assuming that the value of x must be used in the calculation. This generates the following. 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4 is equal to x squared divided by 0.036 minus x. Solving for x squared generates the following, where x squared is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4 times 0.036 minus x. And after clearing the parentheses, x squared is equal to 1.62 times 10 to the minus 5 minus 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4x. This will generate a quadratic equation where x squared plus 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4x minus 1.62 times 10 to the minus 5 is equal to 0. From the quadratic equation, we may insert this data into a quadratic formula where a will equal to 1, b will equal 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4, and C will equal negative 1.62 times 10 to the minus 5. To solve the quadratic formula, X will equal to negative 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1.62 times 10 to the minus 5 
divide it by 2 times 1. Now perform the calculations in the radical, where x will now equal negative 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 2.03 times 10 to the minus 7 plus 6.5 times 10 to the minus 5, all divided by 2. And solving further, x will equal negative 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 6.5 times 10 to the minus 5, all divided by 2. And in the final calculation, x will equal negative 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4 plus or minus 8.06 times 10 to the minus 3, all divided by 2. When using the quadratic formula, two answers will be generated. In this case, x is equal to 3.81 times 10 to the minus 3 and x is equal to negative 4.26 times 10 to the minus 3. Clearly, the concentration of an acid cannot be negative. Therefore, the correct value will be 3.81 times 10 to the minus 3. Taking the negative log of 3.81 times 10 to the negative 3 generates a pH of 2.8. And 2.42 will be a more accurate value than 2.37. This concludes my explanation of how to use the quadratic equation and the quadratic formula to determine the pH of a weak acid. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.